So I'm here in uh, Burgos in Spain. I'm at one of the Correa factories. Um, I'm with Javier. Javier, it's always great to not just go to, um, you know, and see some of the, the really big machines that you produce, but also in some senses, probably to look at machines that you sell a lot more of, I guess, which is the, is the Norma. Would that be right? Right, I mean, in this, in this industrial subsidiary of the group, we produce a certain uh, machine uh, families and uh, probably one of our most um, famous families is the Norma family. Typical that type uh, milling machine with many, many, many different options to customize. And, and so let's, let's talk about it. I mean, you know, we've got the doors open here. We can see clearly that it's a bed type machine with a, uh, an integrated um, rotating table in here, as well as a, uh, one of your popular UAD heads. Expand on what I just said. Tell us about the, the, the full detail. Okay, so th this is this 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 machine configuration, which is very common for most of our customers, is indeed a very flexible solution because we have a three plus two axis head, so we have two rotating axes on the head indexing, and thanks to our technology, uh, we can rotate every zero point zero two degrees. So we have millions of positions. So effectively, we have three plus two plus another rotating axis. So the machine can work in three plus three configuration or in four plus two, because our rotary table can cut in continuous mode. So you can turn, you could turn as well always. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's say that we have like two machines in one. Yeah. One three plus three axis machine. So you can just position with the rotary table and then attack any, any part angle. But at the same time, you can work in a four plus two axis. I mean, so at the same time you're rotating. We do have to worry about the extension here though, when you start bringing this head right out to the, the far end of the table or to the fixed bed, because that, that looks like there's going to be a lot of kind of Z axis. Is that your Z? No, we, we may be signing in the way that the spindle is reaching the, the border line of the table, so you can reach effectively the whole working table. Okay. And okay. In, in many cases, it's very convenient because you don't need to rotate the part two times to make the same surface. So let's say you can reach the whole reach rotary the table whole. with the ram. But what I'm talking about with the ram here is you've got, we've got two guides on the, on the right hand side. And then I guess one at the bottom here, yeah. is that where you get your full support for when it's, sure. when it's extended? Sure, the, this, these machines are lateral ram, uh, traveling uh, lateral ram back type machines. And one of our Korea main features is always the robustness of the structure. And uh, how we do that in this, uh, in this particular model is using three guideways on the RAM. And you cannot see now, but we have a very strong cross saddle supporting the RAM from the back and from the side. So the RAM is fully supported. And what about your head? You talk about these positions. What about, you know, wires and all that sort of stuff in here? How, if it's doing all these maneuvers, how do you handle that without too much complication? Now, this is one of the best part of our UAD technology. It's a pure mechanical head. Okay. So we don't have any electrical cable inside. Everything is managed mechanically with the gears and the clutch system. So effectively, we don't have cables. And as a consequence, we can rotate the head, the two bodies of the head without any, any limitation. Right, okay, okay. Now, when I look at the size of the machine and all these axes moving, how am I gonna, how do you keep this machine so that you can maintain tolerances across everywhere? Because you've got a lot of moving parts here that you're talking about. The table's moving, the ram's coming in and out, have your head that you've just spoken about there, the mechanical head. How are you gonna achieve great tolerances on a machine like this? Well, first of all, you need to, to align perfectly the three main axes of the machine then you need to align perfectly the head with respect to the machine axis. And finally, you do have to align perfectly the spindle, uh, which is parallel to the set axis, perfectly aligned with the rotation of the rotary table. So in this way, with this logic, you can set the geometry of all the axes together between themselves. Because I guess with something like this as well, you know, heavier, heavier parts are going to be machined, aren't they? Maybe, maybe harder materials. You start to hit those hard, are you not going to suffer any sorts of vibrations with the RAM or the head or anything like that too? I mean, vibrations may appear unexpectedly in all the machines, but because we try to, to work on, on a robust structure class, our head is really one of the most robust heads in the market. Once it's clamped, it's got... Uh, all the... and, and we are using the, the 4 plus 2, 6 bearings on the main axis with a 
really high tool clamping force and I saw 50 double contact taper. Okay. So all, all these things combined together and uh, avoid a lot of vibrations during cutting. And the options though, so here we've got, you know, what we talk about here about this table and we've got what we've got um, a bedware next to it. I mean, this this is a, a smaller machine, is it? Could you, you can go a lot bigger than these with these beds? I mean, I've certainly seen them in the field. Yeah, some model engine like X axis in this particular model. So we can have like two meters, 2.5, 3.5, here in 4.5. Right, okay. as it uh, travels. And the same and the rotary table, we can have one meter or 1.25. Uh, and also the, the table width, we can have one meter, 1.25, because also the run travel can be 1.25 or 1.5. Okay, which I mentioned so, earlier was Zebra, isn't it? That's the Y, isn't it? That's your Y axis, Y axis on there. From an operator's point of view, Javier, that's really important. I've noticed here you've got two swarf conveyors. You've got one either side of the table. Yes. So I suppose there's no chance of um, contaminants building up, is there, over time? That's quite an important feature. Yeah, and also the space. You see the space, we always, the gap, we always have between the splash word and the rotary table. And this is because we always want to allow our customers to rotate bigger parts okay. than the current uh, so space they, on the diameter. It could come outside of the end. Exactly, a little bit more. Yeah. So they have a little bit more capacity. The same with the, with the table. You see, we have some space over there. Yeah. To be able to allow bigger to parts. Now, that window there, is that a door? Can that open as well? So you could look from the other side to see what's happening on the machine. Yeah, this, this is, this, these machines usually you can move the control from this side right. and from that side because when you're working with the tool in vertical probably from this side you have a perfect view of yeah. what you're doing but when you're cutting with the tool in horizontal position on the back face obviously from this the, from this point you cannot see what you're doing so then you can move the the, the, the control back from there and then you have a perfect visibility and you keep your your tool changers out the back as well isn't it so you're not having to worry about tools yeah. being in the working area exactly. which is important. and always with the curtain yeah so everything when you're cutting every chips and everything this will be closed so nothing will go into the tool changer which is important and this is modernized as well i look at this control you know panel now yeah. And not just graphically, but the, the, 24, the 24 inches touch screen from High Defense, one yeah. of the biggest. And uh, here we have integrated our, our Korea HMI, so we have our own uh, functionalities to, to, to improve the, 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 let's say, the, the efficiency of the control and also to so try to do a lot to, more monitoring of how the machine exactly. is performing. Exactly, we can monitor many, many things. We can provide a lot of information to the operator, for example, the power and torque diagram of the spindle yeah. and in a real basis. So all these kind of features help the operator to, to, to monitor the machine as also to, to use some of the typical functions very quickly. Um, it, it, so this nor the normal actual range, is it the best selling machi machine from Korea? Would you sell more of these than anything else in a year? Talking about the volume, probably, yes, in terms of numbers, yes. And all made here in, in, in this actual uh, facility or around this area? Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and the Korea group, uh, in Korea we are a group, so we are very much integrated vertically. So most of the parts of the machines we produce inside the group. For example, the tool changer is produced in this factory. Bed time machine is assembled in this factory. And the milling head is produced on the main factory that, that we have been there. Um, the splash ward is designed in our, in our welding uh, facility in this street. Um, so let's say most of the components are produced inside so we can control um, the quality of most of the critical components. And this is why we are able to provide this five years warranty. You got a five year warranty on the machine? Yeah, on all the parts, including the head. Okay. So we provide five years warranty for, for most of our machines as a standard.